body. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. Greeting fellow gamers, and welcome to another game review from Gazetly. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive into Alan Wake 2 and discussing if this long-awaited sequel delivers on the promise and legacy of the original cult classic. Now, I know many of you have been waiting over a decade for more from the world of Alan Wake. So in this video we will going to break down all the key elements of Alan Wake 2 based on our playthrough. We'll take a look at the story, gameplay, graphics and more so you can get a comprehensive view of the experience. By the end, you'll have all the details you need to decide if Alan Wake 2 is a psychological thriller you need to play or if your interest is better spent elsewhere. So without further delay, let's get into it. I brought you the Heart Witch. Show me the terror. Show me the terror. Story and setting. The story across the two campaigns is clearly where Remedy has put in the most work with Alan Wake 2. We are given dual perspectives of both FBI agent Saga Anderson, investigating disturbing murders in the mysterious town of Bright Falls, and Alan Wake himself trapped in a nightmarish dystopian version of New York called The Dark Place. These two storylines are impressively interwoven in complex ways that had me constantly theorizing about how they connected. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever finding the story. The atmosphere of both settings is also incredibly well realized. Bright Falls oozes small town intrigue while the dark place feels like a bleak surrealist nightmare. Adding some great live-action cinematics helps immerse you further. I have to give major props to Remedy for crafting such an ambitious narrative that kept me on the edge of my seat throughout. Both campaigns leave you with just as many questions as answers, so there's plenty to discuss. Gameplay and Mechanics In terms of gameplay, Alan Wake 2 takes what worked well originally and builds upon it significantly. Gone are the balls to the wall action sequences. Now it's all about scarce resources and strategy. Ammo, health, and batteries are not easy to come by. So mastering the breakneck combat and knowing when to fight or flee is paramount to survival. Both Saga and Alan have uniquely satisfying move sets too, which rewards tactical play. Outside of combat, puzzle solving and environmental storytelling help break things up. Saga's detective work and Alan's reality shaping skills are really clever meta mechanics. It's all complemented nicely by a solid upgrade system. While the gameplay shift may turn off some fans of the action roots, as a longtime survival horror enthusiast, I relish the added tension. It gives encounters with the unsettling taken enemies real weight. Presentation and graphics. I'm trapped here. In this nightmare. I write to escape. Every word is a step forward. <gasps> Into darkness. In Alan Wake 2, Remedy has truly outdone themselves on the visual and audio presentation. From a technical perspective, the graphics are absurdly polished and detailed, whether you prioritize resolution or frame rate. Both of the game's worlds, the forests of Bright Falls and the skyscrapers of the Dark Place are fleshed out tremendously and just begged me to soak in every detail. Character models are phenomenally animated too, but beyond technical showmanship, the aesthetics strongly serve the atmosphere. Everything from the lighting to the environment design immerses you in the dread and surrealism, and the audio work is equally on point. Both the soundtrack and sound design do an incredible job of ratcheting up tension. It all combined to make Alan Wake 2 remarkably vivid and visually striking. Really have to commend Remedy for pushing genres forward. There's something. I'm forgetting. Something important. Something's not right! Easy now. First things first, what's your name? Extra modes and replay value. 
In addition to the lengthy main story, Alan Wake 2 gives you plenty of incentives to come back for more after the credits roll. There are collectibles and manuscript pages hidden around every level, encouraging meticulous exploration. And once you've beaten it, you can jump back and on higher difficulty settings for an extra challenge. I'm really looking forward to the upcoming Nightmare Mode myself. New Game Plus is also a great way to try out a new build with your unlocked weapons and upgrades. Plus, with many narrative threads left open, I expect future DLC expansions will provide even more content. There's also speedrunning for those inclined. Overall, Remedy has clearly designed Alan Wake 2 with replayability and player engagement in mind. I'm sure this is a game I and many others will keep coming back to for a long time. Verdict After experiencing everything Alan Wake 2 has to offer, I can confidently say it's an incredibly ambitious sequel that delivers on almost every level. Remedy should be extremely proud of what they accomplished here. If you're a fan of immersive narratives, polished survival horror gameplay, and striking presentation, I have no doubts this will become one of your favorite games. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we're all ripped to pieces along the way. No! Welcome! We have a great show for you here tonight. Alan Wick, one of my all-time favorite writers, and this on the show. He's here to talk about his latest book. Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wade? I'm trying. I truly had an amazing time with it from start to finish. So in summary, Alan Wake 2 absolutely gets my highest recommendation. It's an unforgettable journey through darkness that I feel many of you will want to experience. If you're now convinced that Alan Wake 2 is a game you need to check out, be sure to pick up your copy today. As always, don't forget to subscribe to Gazetly for more game reviews and commentary. Thanks so much for watching. Just write me out of the story.